Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whatever side of the diaspora that you are on, let me welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to the mental house and welcome you to this third day of celebration of Kwanzaa. You also should be lighting your candles. I don't know if I remember it, if I mentioned it. Um, you light the candles from the outside in. Okay, so we should be on the third candle. So there should be one red candle lit today. And there should be one black candle lit today. Working our way in. Right? All right. And today's principle is, how many of y'all know it? If you know it, let me hear. It is Ujima. It is our collective work and responsibility. And you know, we need a lot of help in this area. Mm, 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 mm. To build and maintain our community together and to make our community problems our problems and to solve them together. Um, a good song for y'all uh, is Be Optimistic by Sounds of Blackness. One of my favorite songs, by the way. And um, thought for the day. Isabel Wickerson. The warmth of others' sun, of other suns. Okay, over the decades, perhaps the wrong questions have been asked about the Great Migration. Perhaps it is not the question of whether the migrants brought good or ill to the cities they fled or were pushed or pulled to their destinations, but a question of how they summoned the courage to leave in the first place. Or how they found the will to press beyond the forces against them and the faith in a country that had rejected them for so long. By their actions, they did not dream the American dream. They willed it into being by a definition of their own choosing. They did not ask to be accepted, but declared themselves the Americans that perhaps few others recognize, but they had always been deep within their hearts. Okay? So, our principle today is Ujima, collective work and responsibility. We also, um, today's recipe, Caribbean sorrel. And, um, for those of y'all who have had um, so, um, it's like, how about, let me give you the, uh, uh, um, I don't know how many of y'all are cooking meals for Kwanzaa, but if you are, I'll give you the recipe for Caribbean sorrel. Three heaping cups of bride sorrel pods, three whole cloves, a tablespoon grated orange zest, one three-inch stick cinnamon, Half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, half a te uh, one and a half teaspoons of fresh ginger, one quart of boiling water, a cup of super fine sugar to taste, and several grains of uncooked white rice. Okay, you want to place the sorrel, the pods, the cloves, the orange zest, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the ginger in a large crock or heavy bowl, and pour the boiling water over them and allow them to mixture steep for at least twenty four hours. Uh, when ready, the, uh, strain the sorrel and add the sugar, stirring very well. Pour the sorrel into a scalded quart jar that can be loosened, loosely capped and add the rice. Okay, There are a lot of theories about what it does, but all agree that the, it's the best reason to do it is that that's traditional. Allow the jar to remain in a cool, dark place for two days or longer, then serve. This sorrel is strong and should be served diluted. Half sorrel, half water. Whether or not you choose to add rum is strictly up to you. And that's, again, it's called Caribbean sorrel. And remember... When you let, when you pour the boiling water over them, you got to allow the mixture to seep. Steep is what they call it for 24 hours. Okay? And that is our principle for today. 
Yes, yes, yes. Collective work and responsibility. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And something I thought would be wonderful for the children in this game is uh, it's the third, of course, the third principle is Ujima. And it reminds us that helping each other and working together to solve problems is very important. So, show how you would move your feet if you were marching in this group. Then try moving forward in three different kinds of ways. Take big steps, take tiny steps. Hop, skip. And see how far you can go. Um, people, the people in, in pictures, find people in pictures that are marching. When groups of people march to protest something that they feel is very unfair, they are working together to solve a problem. Okay, and it's called collective work and responsibility. Your Ujima. All right. All right, family, and we will see you in the next on the next principle.